Hi Pisces, this is your channel messages for the 17th of September. Pisces, I was hearing rich nigga eight figure. That's my type. That's my type, bitch. That's my type. No, Pisces, we all are dying for a rich nigga with eight figures. That's that is our type. No, we do not know how this guy look. We don't know if him have hair or not. We don't know what's the size of his dick. We don't know if him dick curve to the left, right, up, or it or even goes down. We don't know what direction his dick is in a resting state. But what we do know is this nigga is a rich eight figures and if it's eight figures automatically by default it would be our type now this is what we sing about now the girl in, my, in a hollywood i sing about the rich nigga eight figures right but what about the homeless bitches what about the bitches who wanted to be a potato right what about niggas who not in who not scam you want a rich nigga him not scam he's not an artist him don't do nothing online he doesn't trade stocks all right there's nothing him not gamble so what is usually a basic ass nigga, right usually a basic ass nigga is a nigga who are working nine to five right and even if you want an eight figure nigga um ma'am in order for your nigga for have eight figures um you must be a surgeon in the working world no, if your man have eight figures, rich niggas, um, he might have to be scamming, he might have to be an artist, or he might have to be doing something where he might make money and I'm sleep. Otherwise, if that man is a nurse, if that man is a doctor, if that man is a lawyer, chances are he will be not making eight figures, not out of tax. No, I just want the women and men, and you should know, I when I date a guy or when I decide that I even want to go out with a guy, I always just look on the initial treatment first. If I meet you upon the first beginning and your treatment night upon the first beginning, the luck will go your way. But as soon as you start, fuck yourself, the luck will go run out, right? So for the women and men, I just want to bring us back to reality. Were you saying that you want a nigga? Me say, alright, Venice I said that, me say, God, I want one nigga. Rich nigga, eight figure, that's my type. No, the, the thing is, the rich nigga with eight figures, they meet them wife in a, the career that they were in already. Usually, the niggas with eight figures, um, they're not single. They have wives. And if they don't have wives, they're in contact with them ex-girlfriends. Because niggas with eight figures, don't, they don't necessarily not have sex. And if they do have sex, they're going to have sex with somebody who is familiar to them. Them exes, right? So, your, your nigga already have girls around you. Cool. But, but these niggas, again, these are niggas that are people who are not in 9 to 5 jobs. No, let us, let us calculate the income of a basic ass nigga, alright? No, in a Canada, minimum wage hour, 15 50 per hour, right? I'm just going to break this down for y'all. Okay, no, let's just say that you weren't the person who's working at Tim Hortons. Let's say you're not even that nigga. Let's say you did, you're you another job. So we're, we're just, for argument's sake, we're going to say you make 20 an hour. No, no, Tim Hortons job pay a 20 an hour. But we're going to say that you make 20 an hour. No, 20 an hour. Um, eight hours a Sorry, 20 an hour. Eight hours a day. We're going to say six days a week. Six days a week, you'll work. Um, multiply by four. So you have $3,800. For a normal working man, a man will make 20 an hour. Right? We don't know if it might make 50, $20 an hour. But this is the majority we are talking about. Because a rich nigga, eight figures, them is, them is under 5%. And if your nigga rich and him have eight figures, him going to have eight different bitches. Now, you can decide to say that. I don't, it don't matter how much bitches him have. Anytime him have a bitch, I'm just going to say, I'm blind. I'm blind. You might say that. Other of us, others of us, um, we like for looking at our partner's eyes when we are fucked them. So we cannot pretend to be blind when there's fuckery in the way, right? So 3,800 grace. Okay, so tax. How much is motherfucking tax? Because I don't fucking know. I paid every year, but I don't know what the fuck tax is. Okay, so 3,840. So tax, I'll bring it down to how much? 2,900? <laughs> right? Right? The fuck? <laughs> 3840. So tax I'm gonna bring it to 2900 Great. Do you pay rent? You do? Okay, how much you pay for rent? 1000 Okay, let's just say rent is 1000 <laughs> So you have 1900 left. Do you drive? You drive? Okay, let's pretend that you did already buy the car from. We don't know where the fuck you bought it from. You need gas for the month and you need to pay um, insurance and, and registration, right? How much did that come up to? Me hear people car note being $500. Three, maybe $350. Maybe I'm delusional. I don't drive. I don't have a car. I never own a car. So if you hear some have car, the people them take my documents and buy the car in my name and give one other girl to drive it. I don't drive. I don't have a license. I don't have a car. So let us just say that a car note is for $350. Right? I don't know what car cost is. 
and 350 that can do gas for the month too including the insurance and everything 350 can do gas for the month i don't know i don't fucking drive but i'm going to say 350 for gas for the month i don't even think that work no and for insurance you have 1,550 left okay we're just going to say that's yes okay what else um utilities do you pay utilities now your thousand dollar rent or because if you need extra utilities now your thousand dollar rent may take out 200 dollars for utilities now with that 1,350 great um you buy food for the month how much is food and some people have said grocery bill of $300 for the month. Sweetie, I'm homeless. I've been homeless for at least four years. Um, my grocery bill um, cannot be $300 blood clot month. Grocery bill better up. Government, on the better blood clot up the grocery bill. And if you don't want to give people money, on the better be give people blood clot. Food stamps where they can only buy the groceries at a certain store. Um, grocery at $1,000 a month and up. The fuck do they feel like? Oh no, it's getting too comfortable with the government providing you, um, 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 I tell you, forgot, forgot food bank. And even though everybody use food bank, food bank are really for people who under $30,000 a year. So you haven't bought, bought groceries yet. Okay, so how much groceries for the month? You got a box around $300 worth of groceries for the month, that's what you're telling me? Okay, so you're depressed. It's you, you depressed as fuck, but you're still working, okay. 1050 left, what else? Personal hygiene things. Me I talk about deodorant, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, something for wash your face, something for do your hair, something for smell good. How much is that? How much is that going to cost? Because I shop at Dollar Tree for my stuff. And even though Dollar Tree have the best of the best things, I won't lie, um, uh, it still costs money. But say for the month, it's going to be $90 for all of your things then, for the month. Your hygiene products. You're left with $960. Okay, great. What else? How are you the laundry? How you, what about the things them for the house? What about the soap the soap for the dishes? What about the soap for the laundry? What about doing laundry? How you do laundry? You hand wash or you go laundry mat? Or you have one laundry place down there? Okay, so how much for laundry for the month? Including the soap and the dishwashing liquid and all of these things for the dishes. Oh, and the bleach and the fabuloso for scent up the house. How much for all of that for the month? Say we're going to spend 50. Just say, and I don't think it's 50. Because remember, I'm homeless, but this is the budget, 50. You're left with $910. What else? You have any extracurriculum activities? You got gym? You play a football? You have no membership anywhere? Do you play Call of Duty? Mm? You watch Netflix? Because utilities have come out of this. Also, we didn't check Wi-Fi either, and we don't check phone bill. So we're going to say Wi-Fi and phone bill cost about $110 for Wi-Fi and phone bill. We're not even talking about cable because I don't watch TV. So I don't know what cable is. You're left with $800. What else? Extracurriculum activities. Do you go to the gym? What you do? You smoke weed? You smoke cigarettes? Because that's an extracurriculum activity. So how much is that for the month? $100? Let us say we're going to take $100. Whether you go to the gym, whether you smoke, or whether you like for drink or go strip club, $100 for the month. You're left with $700. What else are we looking at? Um, um... Okay, wait, remember go down. So now you're left with seven hundred dollar for the month, um, my man, my rich nigga, eight figures. Actually, this is not fucking rich. My my middle class nick, my broke niggas, three figures. One, two, three. Seven hundred dollar you have left with. Okay, so you have taken care of everything. Do you have a pet? Okay, you need to buy food for the pet. You have seven hundred dollar left. Also, you buy groceries for cook. You never buy groceries for say what you gonna eat for. For, for, for lunch when it comes down to when you're at work. Are you going to cook and bring to work for your lunch? Or are you going to buy something different for lunch? Because you still have $700 left. So you need to split that when it comes down to either you're going to have a pet or not. Whether you're going to be eating lunch at work or you're going to cook and bring a work. What else? What the fuck else? What else? Um, You have girlfriend? You have girlfriend? You want girlfriend? No? You don't want girlfriend? You have girlfriend? You want girlfriend? Or you just don't know how you feel about girlfriend? Because if you have girlfriend, you have $700 for the month. You're going to take her out on a date. Where you're going to take her? You're going to take her to fucking Tim Hortons. So $700 minus how much for your fucking coffee? Two of them. Both $7. $7 for two blood clot coffee. So now you're left with $693. So if you take that girl out one time a week for $7 a fucking coffee, you'll have $600 for the rest of the month. Um, No, that's if it's a basic bitch who just want love. If you're there with a Jamaican girl, you have $700. She'll beg you $100. She'll 
she's going to beg your $100 at least one time for that blood clot month. You're with a Jamaican girl, you need to know. With tight pussy comes responsibilities, right? How you think the pussy is kept tight? You're going to have to pay for maintaining that tight pussy so it can be coming back to you, right? She, vibes Cartel say, Me will give you money, make you buy panty. Cause your pum pum, it must be healthy. Girl, you know, say your pum pum tick. Girl, your pum pum not gigantic. Vibes Cartel told the girls that he will buy our, give our money and him will buy our grocery because our pum pum needs to healthy since she keep the pum pum for him alone. Now, girls, if you're just walking around dating, the pum pum responsibility is on you. You have to make sure you buy the proper douche, the scented douche, right? You have to make sure that your pussy smells nice and it smells edible, right? And you have to make sure your pussy health is top notch. Now, if you're there with a man and the man decides that, listen, I never see a pussy like this. The pussy is so tight. I want you alone to be the only person who accepts my penis. Then the man, the, the pussy responsibility falls on the man. Me will give you money, make you buy panty, cause your pum pum, it must be healthy. Right? Vibes Cartel told us that. So you have girlfriend, she'll beg at least a hundred dollar. Then she's being humble. She have to like it for beggar a hundred dollar, right? So she'll beg a hundred dollar to the month. You're left with six hundred dollar. Um, six is the number of sacrifice. So God go with you as to what the fuck you're going to do with that six hundred for the month. And hopefully you not have kids. And you not pay blood clot child support. Anyways, um, oh, you didn't pay garbage fee either. You didn't pay the fee for garbage and taking out all of these things. And we're not by the TV yet if you, if you did just move in. So girls, when I say I want a man with eight, a rich nigga eight figure, that's my type. We just calculate a man income on twenty dollars an hour, which is which is which is seventy to eighty percent of men on a whole. Cause seventy per eight to eighty percent of men they will never um go to their full potential. They'll never start their own business, even if they're capable of doing it. Because niggas don't like for struggle. That's what I notice. And niggas rather hold a nine to five for buy shit for hype and another bitch wait but niggas don't want to struggle niggas ain't struggling for 10 years and know that at the end of the 10 years you would have never want nothing for your own for the rest of your blood clot life them rather sell out and take a deal now and live paycheck to paycheck now because them can't hype on a nigga who don't have it when you're willing for struggle for what you want when you're willing for struggle and and sacrifice for your dream them you know that your dream them is going to be beyond life you cannot explain to 95 people as to why you get up every day and you sacrifice your time and work on a dream when not gonna manifest until five years time you can't explain that to a 95 nigga you only can explain to him that you better hurry up and go to work or you overslept, you better hurry up and go to work before your boss have his panty in a bunch. You can't explain you chasing your dreams to a 9 to 5 nigga. Sometimes you can't even explain it to another nigga who's chasing their dreams too. But you want a nigga eight, rich nigga 8 figure, that's your type. Okay, great, that's your type. Now how him act? How is his hygiene? Cause whether you make twenty dollar or what are you he's a rich nigga eight figure um some of them them don't bathe a lot some of them them don't the laundry some of them them don't clean them house how is your hygiene when you wake up in the morning you you, you run to the bathroom and brush your teeth before you come back in the bed or the first thing you think upon your mind i say you want fuck which one you want fuck with stinking bread by your mouth so you have no consideration for anything else about the rich nigga and money i like a rich nigga and money but he, he, he might have to treat me nice too. He, he, he might have to treat me as nice as him treating money. Anyways, let's just go ahead and go into your reading Pisces. So you're talking about bitches being gold diggers. Um, we can't dig gold from you, sir. You have six hundred dollar left at the end of the blood clot day. The fuck you talking about, bitch? Go. I ain't saying she's a gold digger. I ain't saying I'm a gold digger either. And let me tell you, for the record, you guys are going around talking about my wife Kim, saying that oh she's a gold digger. But I want to make the public know that my wife has dated broke niggas too. Right, Kim? I have dated broke niggas too. What the fuck you talking about? Hmm? I ain't saying she's a gold digger. I know me. But you give a broke, ugly nigga a chance and they try to spin it on you. That's why I, ne that's why I never give a broke nigger a chance. Because you give these broke niggas a chance, they spin it on you. The fuck? Anyways, let's go ahead and go into your reading. So this is what the fuck is up, ho. All right, what you want? Cause if a man I work a normal job, at least if a man make twenty an hour, he cannot support you. He cannot buy you the all of the best pum pum they are Kingston. So me buy a Birkin for Jada, Jada Kingdom. 
right? He cannot buy a Birkin bag for Jada Kingdom. He have 600 at the end of the month. And he not put nothing in the savings yet. Because if you have $600, 300 for going to savings. You beg him hundred dollar. No, him have two hundred dollar for the month, and him don't. Him still don't decide whether or not him packing food for go lunch. Him packing food or him a buy lunch or work. You see, you see what I'm talking about. And on top of you doing all of this and you having two hundred dollar at the end of the day, you have to do your own laundry, you have to cook your own meal, and you have to clean your own house. Unless you have girlfriend, if you have girlfriend and you, you try to give her money, then might maybe a girlfriend will come over your yard and clean up your house for you. That is how you use your girlfriend. But no, you no just meet girl and one girl going to the kitchen. You don't get kitchen treatment, sir. The fuck you think this is? You want girl going to the kitchen? No, because I have to see if she can cook before I wed her. Well, she have to see how much money you have in your bank account before she can wed you either. Because she not got there with a broke man and she find out say, she can't afford Aki, she can't afford the fucking breadfruit, and she can't afford the fucking curry mutton for cook for you because you are broke ass nigga. But you want girl going to blood clot kitchen. You want girl going to the kitchen and you can't afford half of the fucking groceries the girl can't cook. You don't get cooking services if you have blood clot new nigga. The most me can feel sorry for them sometime. I went, Mr. said them house dirty. And I said, yeah, yeah, what way I got through? Oh, I just broke up with my ex. I said, that's why your house dirty. Oh, you know, I'm just dating around a lot of girls. I said, that's why your house dirty. Because you chase pussy more than you chase your personal hygiene. That's a problem. Your house can't dirty and you chase pussy. You can't be heartbroken over your ex-girlfriend and your house blood clot dirty. I remember one time I met a guy, the name Shaw, one native guy. You know him? One native guy. He's the one who introduced me to the song that said, Summer in Chicago, eh? Hey, uh, only been about a day. Uh, the king at your sunroof. I ain't really tripping, but I'm hoping that you come through, yeah. He told me he trying to save up. Coming from Milwaukee, he gonna make his way up. Say he living single, he don't need no fake love. If we keep it honest, we don't need a label. Love is everything and everything is love, yeah. Well, that, right? Him is the one who introduced the song. I want to just, just meet him. Him bring me up on a date. Bring me one Jamaican, resta one Jamaican restaurant. And it had DJs and everything. And it was such a nice date. And him bring me there, bring me there. And him way home, him start ball. I'm like, what happened to you? He crying. Him ex-girlfriend, apparently. His ex-girlfriend did him very shitty. Or I don't know what the fuck she did. She probably had a restraining order against him. I don't know what the fuck that nigga was into. All I knew that nigga was native. And they live in our hotel, right? Well, our hotel, one very nice apartment. And him could have cook. I'm sorry, I'm recording something. So I'm not talking to myself. You hear? Thank you for checking up. <laughs> right? And him could have cook. One time him cook some, some chicken. What kind of chicken him cook? Why him could have cook? That guy could have fucking cook. Oh, that guy, that's that native guy. Him could have, oh, him could have fucking cook. Right, cause one time he invited me over him house. He made me sit up on him bed and watch TV while him cook. Oh, anyways, right, yes. I remember when, when the first time I meet him, he my ball in blood clot eyes up because I was my ex-girlfriend to him. No, I don't know if him was a real the asshole. And I did not take sides when it came on to him and his ex-girlfriend. But I'm just saying, um, yeah, um, half of that money I got through stress too. And the way we did bad, I start clean up for him. I start, I got, I start put one clothes, yes, and I don't know the guy. I, it was probably the first or second time I go over my house. And I start, I not clean up for him, I start just put this here, put this here, because I said the guy you're out of it. All that black circle around him eye. Now I feel like he was smoking crack. To be very honest. I feel like that's what he was doing in the nights to, to help cope with shit. But I just start helping him organize. A little bit. And he said, next time I go over my yard, him roll house clean, him clean up the whole of house. I'm say, and he have long hair, he did long. He wasn't even cutting him here, and he did long. And I start kind of just put, but now I'm just put this here, put 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 all the dirty dishes one place, just kind of help him to sit out. The next day I come over, him house was clean, he clean up everywhere, did laundry, wash the sheets, everything. And the next day he start to cook for me. I'm the cook, and it was very very nice. So on top of the man, them now make no blood clot money, them emotional as fuck too. So you can't be a broke nigga emotional and you're an asshole. It don't work that way. No girl no want to stay with you them way there. And if you a date a girl and she a make $20 an hour too, um, both of y'all have $600 left for the month. So she a spend it on looking good for you or you a spend to try to impress her. We don't fucking know. Either way, let's go ahead and go a quick, let's do a quick reading. Pisces, I don't know why I want to say that to you. 
But I'm just saying. <laughs> you need to be, you need to know what kind of girl you're taking up. Because not every girl I go fuck you for love. And every girl I go fuck you for joy. Yeah. Well, well, no, I was watching something yesterday with this Russian guy. Oh my God, this Russian vlogger. Where the guy is like, is it, um, are you... <laughs> This guy was just up like a girl and go on the beach. Oh my god, this Russian fucking guy. And he said, um, the guy said to him, um, what happened? Would you suck it for? He said, I want you to suck it. Would you suck it for money? And he was like, I won't suck it for money. What do you think I'm broke? Will you suck it for love? <laughs> Girls, when you will not suck their dicks for money, they'll ask you if you can suck it. You say, Would you suck it for love? I'm <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with these men? Larceny coming up first, so I'm getting stiffed. So, who teeth your shit? Because for the last 20 minutes, we've been talking about income. Who teeth your shit? I'm getting something more theft. Your man teeth your income. Who teeth your ending? Shark teeth something. What the fuck? What the fuck happened? Shark. Who teeth? Who the fuck teeth from you? I'm getting whoever teeth your blood clot money there, Quentin. Hi. So I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to be making more than 20 an hour. I don't know what it is, but all I know is um me getting somebody teeth your money. And me getting is a big big repercussion I happen because of it. We have toxic relationship. Me getting either the girl where you was with or the man that you were with, um one of them teeth, alright? We have the full card. And we have vision. Now, this could also be you're dating men, you're dating women, and the whole of them are taking your money. Everything is a money. Is a um, 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 oh, I can like say, you, you might not work a back road, but you do the same thing every time I drop you off. I don't know to me, coming like a play thing. I know the style, I know the style, I know the style. No, them trick with one time, we're going to do it another time. No, we know the style, we know the style, we know the style. No, right? I'm getting every time you pick up somebody and drop them off a play thing, a play thing. You always have to be giving them money, them and a pay thing. Well, it depends. Did you take up a Jamaican woman? Because <laughs> well, maybe that's why. <laughs> but me getting a lot of money. So I don't know if this is a check. Te teeth like dirty blood clot, CBIC. You're dirty CBIC. On a dirty fuckers, me call. You know, and me got, me went to CBIC office and tell him, say, I don't remember more. I tell them so I don't have my debit card what I did have right because when I work at a Jewish community centre I have a CIBC account right alright cool and then I go to CBIC and tell them so I did lose the fucking card because I, I come from Quebec come here so and I tell them so um, I have my, my I say I can't just use my SIN number and look up my account the man said no I say I have a SIN number you can't use it and look up him say no I need the debit card the debit number I say I can't use my first and last name for look it up no so the man, and I went into the so-called whatever something the manager office and him tell me say no he can't help me nothing like that so I don't know right him saying gonna help wait hold on I'm just wait hold on okay great right him saying gonna help I'm sorry somebody was passing I never want them in the frame right right so them said they can't help me they cannot retrieve my account so if money is in there or is not in there um or oh, the fuck well for me that's what that's what cibc fucking told me when i'm going to the blood clot office and some other managers some other people at the door listen 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 because i'm trying to tell them i want to retrieve my account and i don't have my debit card and the dirty man in the office the dirty indian man tell me say oh we can't help you okay great the devil card the devil is a fucking lie that the man tell me. He said we can't get up. I said you can't use my sin number and look up, look up my account now. Can't use my name and look up my account now. We need the debit card. We need the debit card to know. We need the debit card to know. The devil card. Because the devil is a fucking lie. I'm getting somebody teeth your money. I mean I know something about a bank. Something about a bank. Something about a big big bank teeth your money. Can be any bank. I don't know. I, I'm accustomed to here so i don't know the big banks here would be like scotia bank um rbc cibc td bank shark is clarified by the debt card or i'm getting something about a simple financial account something about simple financial or something about an online banking system that is not registered like normal places me getting the bank online me getting somebody teeth your money Somebody thief your money and transfer your money in our online bank account, a, digi a digital bank account. That's what I'm getting. The debt card and the devil. 
So what's so somebody supposed to fake your debt while them collect it? Money from I don't know. Maybe I had a winning lot of tickets. Somebody claims say you did and collect the money. The fool card is clarified by the night of ones I'm getting is a Leah did it to you. Toxic relationship is a magician. They're getting wild before the Leah decide to teeth your money and run them drug you first. So I'm getting you are drugged or you're under some type of hypnosis or something I get lace. We have a six of pentacles and vision. Yeah. Come and get right now. You now work or you, you live paycheck to paycheck or you're a beggar. Or you're on assistance. The Six of Pentacles is a social assistance to me. You depend on assistance. But me getting you're supposed to have money. But somebody teeth it from you. Maybe somebody feel like right now you're penny pinching. Maybe somebody feel like you have a lot of money but right now you're not. You don't show much money you have. You just save everything because you don't know when you're going to run out again. Me getting somebody want you to believe that you don't have money. Somebody want you to believe that you, are big. you, you have to ask them for, for assistance. But me getting you had a lot of money. You want Capricorn teeth it. It could have been a Capricorn teeth it. It could have been a Scorpio or it could have been a Leo. Teeth the money. Some type of money stealing and you passing away. One more. The moon card. Me getting something about your mother too. Or that's a secret. That's why you ain't got no money, because you were supposed to have money. But me getting some people set it up and teeth it. And if that's not it, me getting some people I try for brainwash you into... This is the way how everybody tries to make money, man. People work their ass off until they die. And yeah, you're going to have to deal with fuck up people. Yeah, but everybody does something them don't want, though. Not everybody likes them job. Okay, then I can work in a massage parlor and get paid. Triple the amount you getting paid while not liking my job since you don't like yours either. What the fuck you telling me? You want to be a nigga eight figure. That's your type. Well, you, you, you follow your dreams. You turn one artist. You turn an artist for, for, for 10 blood... Dedicate 10 years for blood clot struggle. For your dreams some man don't want to struggle for them dreams they want them dreams happen right now that's why when them dreams happen and it, it happens so fast for them them drop off because sell out it sell, sell out your blood clot self you never want work feet you never want work for the real fans and work for your steady income you want to sell it all right now because you here for a good time not a long time i'm willing to struggle for my dreams me willing to struggle and watch everybody pass me we willing to struggle and sit down and see everybody I drive them car and I go out and do everything that I do and I have them family. We're willing to watch that for the next blood clot 10 to 14 years and work for my dream. Cause me know after this take off, um, I ain't go listen, listen, I came from my lights being locked off. I came from my mama had to be running from landlords anytime landlords came to collect rent, man. I came from times when my mama had to open ramen and she wouldn't eat because all of us had to eat. I ain't been fucking broke no more in my motherfucking life. And I ain't working for a motherfucking nine to five nigga. I came from too much. I come from the blood clot dirt. For blood clot work for nine to five pussy was. You mad? Mommy, don't reach my mom. mommy, don't don't worry, mommy. We'll soon be millionaires. Don't worry. I'm going to leave it here. Until next time. Bye.